my ancestry comes a lot from France, and um, I feel like there was a connection that was kind of lost somewhere along the way. You know, like we've known that we're French, but we don't really practice it as much. And so I kind of wanted to like replant those roots and, you know, just kind of embrace our family's history. I've been studying French for the past five years. I started my freshman year of high school. My teacher actually took my French club over to Paris um, when I was 16. And so that, that was really exciting, yeah. My mom studied it for a while too, so sometimes like if my dad or my sister is annoying the one of us, then we'll just like kind of say our own little thing like, oh, mon dieu, c'est très annoying. You know, just like little things like that. It's, it's always been fun, yeah. Last year I was in Italy. It was actually a year ago this week. It was the crazy scenario. So I was leaving London. We were on our way to Italy and um, my mom had lost her headphones. And so I turned around to this man behind me. I asked him, I was like, um, do, you, do you speak English? And he said, no. And I was like, uh, parlez-vous anglais? Uh, just kind of like, last hope, you know, maybe he speaks French. And he's like, oui, oui, je fais. He's like, yes, I do. And I was like, oh, très, très bien. And I started asking him, and I was like, do you know, like, maybe if you could check under the seat and see if my mom lost her headphones? And like, sure enough, he was like rummaging underneath the seat and he found it. I just thought it so funny, like an American and Italian speaking French in England was just, it was funny to me.